Well, welcome back to another Trainer Tucker's uh, video. And today we are in Fuller Park in Meridian, Idaho. And uh, we're going to try to see what this nest is. So far there hasn't been any confirmation. As I was parking though, I did see a tentacle. And uh, so far that's the only non-common that I've seen. Let's see here. Let's spin this pokey stop real quick and we'll start walking this park and seeing what we can find here. Let's look on the nearby list. Nearby list. Oh, well, that one down there in the corner, that's over at the Alberton's store. Let's see what we have in the park itself. Sometimes these smaller parks, they just don't get nest. Um, as I showed in my video, Cottonwood Park, a bust. <laughs> but there are some, some of the smaller parks that do. It's a wonderful, beautiful day at least. And there's good, there's a good track here. I guess this track, if we walk its whole circumference, it's just a little over a half a mile. I don't know what that breaks down into kilometers for egg hatching. Probably close to almost a kilometer. So it's a good place to walk off eggs, that's for sure. And right now I think I have a couple eggs going. Yeah, but 2K, they uh -huh. might hatch during this video. So we'll see. Oh, there's another tentacle. So I'll go ahead. So that's two tentacles we've seen so far. So that's a good sign. Let's see what we get through the rest of this park here. Let's walk along. And here we go, we're around in the corner. It's not the most exciting park, but it's definitely one of the more quiet parks. It does back up to an elementary school, though. So, you know, and here lately, there's a lot of elementary schools that have gone away uh, at Pokey. Uh, Pokemon Go, go ahead and take down the gyms or Pokey Stops uh. close to the school because it was causing issues. Ooh, little fair guy. Red. So, so, so far the only one I've seen doubled up is the tentacle. So, and there's one at the entrance. Uh, if it's still there when we're round about here. We get through this track here. But some exciting things coming on, you know, especially as it's starting to warm up in that. Some events gym rework next week should be very exciting um you saw my uh, settlers park video you saw me go ahead and battle the gym i think gyms are going to get more exciting to do more social um it'll be really great to see how that that evolves um let's see here Showing that we're out here in the, in the sightings, though, you have some commons. Again, the only two things I've seen the same are the tentacles. Fortunately, I didn't catch the first one on video because I was parking at the time. So, they went uh, around about here. We didn't see that. I'd love to get some more feedback and comments in here in the sections as to uh, what you'd like to see more in videos. I know that uh, you say you wanted me to talk a lot more, so I am working on that. Getting that going there. Uh, some people did like the music videos and the music to the, the migration path. 
But, you know, it's just a balancing game. You know, the egg hatching videos are everybody's favorites. But I can only have time to hatch so many eggs. Speaking of egg hatching, here comes one, a little two kilometer. Picked this up during the Easter event. And it's a squirtle. Not too shabby. You never have too many squirtles. Well, you can't have too many Pokemon to begin with. Not too bad. Water pulse and tackle. Not my favorite move set, but it's worth the candies, right? Yeah, well, it's all about the candies. Let's see if we see this tentacle up here. I am probably going to try to cut across this guy up here doing some maintenance on the park. Looks like he's walking away from me, so it might be just fine. So if we can get that tentacle on the on the screen here. Uh, sightings. Still no other tentacles or any other signs of what the nest is. Spawn formation here. Sorry for the background noise of the lawn equipment. See what's gonna go on here. So far we haven't really picked up a full lot. Again, this is not a very active part. You know, it all comes down to that cellular pheromone. You know, the more people that visit a park, the more you know there's gonna be Pokemon there. Because that's why it all goes off of cellular activity. So, you know, thing is, is we probably just needed more parks that we want to see more Pokemon at. We need to uh, start inviting people to come there and have more events, more lure parties. This would be a very cool place to do a lure party and egg hatching party. Just because it's got a good, good walking path. And, uh, you know... It does have enough stops. It's not one of those parks where it has just one stop at it. So, it's a good thing. There we go. Not sure where the other tentacle went. So, we're just going to keep walking here back to where we started. And, uh, see what's going go on here all right well, lost a little bit of internet there for me hit a dead spot <laughs> it happens too sometimes in these rural parks out in the suburbs you hit one little patch and it'll just be like oh no 